Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantles and this video, well for this video, I am going to be taking a part, hold on let me get in there, an old pair of my headphones. Now, I like taking stuff apart, I mean, I've got a whole box of miscellaneous rubbish upstairs that I'm making around to showing you. And these headphones, I, I don't know why exactly, I think it's something to do with the, the coil inside, but basically they, they stopped working one day, and I think the coil's broken in here somewhere, over here. Now, you're gonna get a close up of my hands and stuff a lot, and the reason why is because I don't actually have a stand or something to hold my phone in place as I film this. Basically, I've, I've just got it being held in place as a sandwich between a bunch of books and a box, so that, like, see, holding in place. So if I bump this, and it, uh, I'm gonna have to, and have to move it, it's gonna, you know, mean, see a man, it's gonna be a bit wonky, yeah. There's my impressive screwdriver collection. It's old school stuff. I mean, let me just fix this now. I don't know why it's so wonky. I'm gonna use this last one, messed it up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There you go. So anyway. Now, I have no clue what I'm doing, so you're gonna have to bear with me a bit, okay? I mean, I'm probably gonna need more than just a screwdriver to be honest. It's just that these things fun. Appear to fun. You can do a lot of things with a screwdriver. I just wanted to see this is. I have no clue if I'm, if I'm taking this apart the right way. Should just bear with me for a few minutes. Hopefully you don't get a close-up of any injuries I sustained from this. Okay, great, so I've got this done. And I can, I can shove this in, but that's not going to do much, is it? Do I? I've got cream in my hands, this is a bit slippery, hold on. <laughs> okay. I broke something, let's see. Man, I should not put cream on my hands. I just wanted my hands to look nice and soft for everyone watching. Do my hands look nice and soft? Let me know. Okay. Oof. I grab this. It's if I keep going out of like view. Again, I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, I'm breaking something. My, I should not have put on cream. That was a mistake that I will regret for a long, long time. Yeah, I used to listen to music a lot when I was on the train. Came from college and stuff with these headphones. And then one day they just stopped working. Like they're static, and then they just stopped, and I have no clue why. I don't. I don't, don't want to. I mean, if I had to, I'd probably have to get like this hammer or something to um to break it. I don't want to break this. Eh. I'm doing something, I don't know what though. Maybe if I got a bigger screwdriver. There we go. Let's get a big one in. And that did nothing. think it's gonna be easy but this is annoying hmm. you know what, I'm just take a hammer and smash it you know what I'm gonna do that actually hold on okay guys so now I've got the setup by chair of mine outside oh, that was all right here okay and then I've got 
this. Let's see. Okay. There. Ooh. That looks pretty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So let's get one. Hmm. I mean, I did physics, so I kind of know what all the stuff is here. Let's just see if I can. No, can't I take that part? No, okay, fine, whatever. So the point is... Wait, can I smash this? Let's see. I mean, don't worry, this, this is concrete floor, it's fine. However, if... Yep. No, it does not come in out. Screwdriver. Okay, there we go. I mean, look, I'm not saying that I'm a kind of guy who likes to destroy stuff for the sake. I just like destroying stuff just, you know, so I can see how they work and I can collect stuff from it because, I mean, you know, sometimes... Ooh, a bit of rubbish that I don't want to eat in there. I mean, sometimes, some stuff that you find in rubbish, it's, it's kind of beautiful. Like, when you see, like, all the... Sorry. When you see, like, all the copper wire and stuff. You know, it's nice to look at. It's shiny and all that stuff. And again, you can just throw it away. And it's rusted or whatever, but... You know, I like seeing how things work. I mean, if anyone's ever seen, like, the shows... On those channels... You know, it's like, um... Blowing up monuments or whatever. And they show you how they were built and secrets inside them and stuff. You know, that, that kind of stuff's always intrigued me. You know what, if I keep Charlie White in my mouth, I may as well just carry on destroying stuff out here. Okay, this stuff's taking a bit to peel off. <sighs> nah. Nah, guys, I think I know this is. It's not gonna peel off. There goes Charlie for his barking mission. <coughs> yep, there he goes. <coughs> anyway, so, what happens is basically the electric, the electric cut, the uh, current. Stuff you know, the stuff from all the stuff from the fire. It goes through here, through the audio jack, and up here where there are two, uh, there are yeah, two or so wires. There are two wires in this, and they've been you know they're insulated in here, and then they split. In, those wires split in two, and then what happens is those wires, then uh, as you can see here, they get then get narrowed down into thinner wires because these these are the two wires inside them. So actually, you know there may be like four in here or some. So there may be like four in here. Yeah, there's probably four feet, it's a bit thicker. Basically, it goes through here. Where there's a little circuit board. And then it goes into here. Where you have this little... Uh, you have this little, like, magnet. And what happens is this magnet then it induces uh, current in the copper wire here. You know, similar to, um... You know, lens... Uh, you know, similar to electromagnetic induction. And what that does is that it then induces... Uh, so it then induces a certain movement, like it causes it to causes this plate here, as you can see. Hold on. Just... Oh dear! And it causes this plate here, like all the stuff you can see here. This little film, and then uh, this blue thing here causes that plate to oscillate at certain frequencies, which then are filtered out by these. By the um, which is then filtered out by the black thing here, which then is you know all the stuff under here. Can I poke that out? Let me see if I can poke that out. So I just gotta get this right. Okay, let's see if I can poke it out. Wrong way. Sorry. Let's, let's have a... Okay, found something giveaway. Let's see. There you go. It's broken up. But yeah, it's then filtered out through these, which then offers a, you know, as a form of, of protection, so it doesn't just like. <laughs> you might not barking when I'm trying to film something. Thank you. But it anyway, filters out through here, and those oscillations then pass through. 
these here again and these are these little holes here are meant to reduce interference from uh, the other electric currents going on behind here in the transducer and then uh, actually I don't know what it is but there was um there's like a silica head for this which is just basically meant to protect your ears and prevent it from you know sitting right inside your ear and hurting you Charlie behave yeah, so, so it's Give me a minute. Yeah, so fascinating stuff. Let's see if I can break this one open now. Okay, let's see. There you go, done. As you can see, it's stuck together using glue. And it's a somewhat very good glue because I couldn't take it apart before. So, yeah, so. Main things to remember here about how this stuff works. This audio jack. It, uh, it takes in electric currents from the phone, travels through the copper wiring to the circuit board, which then, as you can see, there's a little plus sign there. Yeah, and then takes it out and uh, you know puts it and then puts it through the magnet there, and then uh, and which then induces an electric current in the copper wire here, which uh, then causes this plate, the plates here, to oscillate in a, you know in a certain frequency, in a certain frequency and stuff which is that then it's itself a transducer you know translates you could say to a sound energy and then it passes through passes uh, through all the stuff here the filters and things they come out basically a sound that's how earphones work simple stuff for you <laughs> if you as long as you've done a level physics that is yeah so guys, that's basically it for how earphones work. I mean, I'm not sure what else I can do really. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to take apart every constitu uh, constituent component here because you know, I've got a dog, don't want him to um, eat this. And you can hear it's multiple wires because of the sound. Listen, where's the microphone? Just listen. It's not one. It's not one single scratching sound. You can hear it's multiple, and that's because the more coils you have, the uh, it, it allows more current to flow through, which allows the mag uh, magnetic flux to have a maximum change, and that induce and that makes it become a more efficient. Uh, uh, the conductor. And look there, there, right there. This is a magnet. I can't put it too close to my phone, but look, see. No. It's a magnet, see? Copper. Copper isn't magnetic. Nothing whatsoever. This, however, in the very middle is the magnet. No? Oh, it's, it's all of this, okay. The current just goes through there. Well, you see, that's all magnetic, and that basically... No, that's, that, that's not magnetic. Basically, that, that's the magnet there, which induces the, the changing magnetic flux. Which allows this to function as a transducer. If I remove this, what happened? What's behind here? Oh yeah, just the rest of the wires. You know when I mean Iron Man, when he's a uh, first of all when uh, he's got Pepper and he's going through um you know he's going through his chest, basically putting in the uh, basically putting in the you know getting the new arc reactor in his chest, and then he's a uh, and then you, he ends up like taking all the stuff out, and then he, um, you know, you know pulling the things out, all the rings and some components. That's what this stuff basically is. The, the arc reactor is meant to be basically changing magnetic flux, you know, to provide a source of energy. And oh wow, look, magnets there. Yeah, so guys, that's basically how earphones work. A lot of transducers, electromagnets, and copper wiring. So, if so, if you like the video, please do give a like, please share my videos, please do comment what you think of them. Anything else you want me to try and take apart, or if you like me taking stuff apart, please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this content. And please do ring the bell so you can keep up to date with my videos and stuff. And next episode, well, for this taking stuff apart series try and find something else to take about for you guys. So see you in the next video comrades. Until then.